Hello guys, what's up and welcome to another episode. My name is Martino and what I want to do today is I want to answer some questions that I got from you guys and hoping that they will actually help you out if you're having similar problems. I have divided the questions into ambusher, reads and ligatures, theory and tongan. So ready? Roll that intro and let's get started. <laughs> So let's start with some ambusher questions. First, we have Sergio from Chile. He says, hello, Martino. First of all, thank you so much for your videos. Really helps a lot. Thank you, man, for, for watching and, and I'm glad they help. So he says, I have an issue. The higher the note, the harder it is for me to get a good sound. And after a few minutes, I really get tired in my lower lip. And then he goes on saying, my lip gets really tired and cannot get the notes out. And then says, doesn't hurt so much because I don't bite like when I was a beginner, but it's like I don't have strength to keep playing. So if you get tired in your mouth, there's a few things that can happen. So firstly, you might be playing too much. He actually says that he's been playing for, he plays for 30, 45 minutes in a session. So that might be too much. I will actually do this. I will play, play for way less time, five minutes or 10 minutes. So you, you allow your muscles to train, you actually train your muscles. Okay. So maybe 10 minutes and then a break of five minutes and then again, 10 minutes, five minutes, and that's it. So that actually builds up over time. Okay. Now, the reason why you're getting tired when you go up is because when we go up, there's a tendency of just closing, of biting, or or forcing everything out. So we tend to squeeze. Everything tends to go like this. Okay. So what you need to do, Sergio, is you need to just learn how to relax. You know how to relax. So everything here is still um, relaxed. <laughs> okay. And it's not forcing, it's not tensing as you go up. Okay. I've done a video, which is called how to play your first note in 10 minutes, which I'm going to link over here and over here as well. And that will actually help you out in, in getting more relaxation. Essentially, you just want to think about the, you know, the, the sound, the sound. Just as a starting point, and that will just help you out in staying more relaxed so nothing really hurts so much. So, next we have Azzurri 82. It's in Italian, I'm gonna read it and then translate it. L'imboccatura è la stessa sia per alto che per tenore, se no, quali sono le differenze? So, is the embouchure the same for alto and for tenor, and if not, which is the difference? So, essentially, the embouchure for saxophones is the same all throughout from soprano, alto, tenor, baritone, and, and bass. Uh, what changes is the amount of tension that you have on the on the mouthpiece or on the the embouchure. Okay, so if you compare alto and tenor, the difference is that on tenor you're a little bit looser. Okay, on soprano you're a little bit tighter than on alto, for example. Okay, on any instrument, if you take tuba, for example, if you compare trumpet and tuba, okay, on tuba you see tuba players going like boom, 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 like this. You're super relaxed in here because it's a really it's a really large instrument. Okay, so the larger the instrument, the more relaxed you need to be. Essentially, that's it. Next, we have white noise, black void. And uh, he or she says, I have a problem that I play half step flat and I must squeeze my mouth so hard. I can push my neck more into the cork. What can I do? So in this case, actually, it sounds that there's not enough tension happening on the when you blow. Okay, so. <laughs> If there's not enough tension happening, then the note is just going to go flat naturally. Okay. So you just need to squeeze, squeeze the muscles a little bit more. You can, I call it the stupid smile kind of thing. It's more of classically oriented, but it's, uh, if you keep it as, as a general thought, you know, do that instead of Duh. slightly, don't go like crazy and slightly uh, backwards so the muscles actually help the sound to go up. Okay, next we have no name, okay, and uh, he or she says, thanks for the video, do you have some tips against biting too hard on the mouthpiece? This actually brings us back to what we said at the beginning about tensing, over tensing, okay? If you're biting too much with your teeth, okay, it means that there's too much happening on the embouchure. So go and check that video again, your first note in 10 minutes, and it will teach you how to Relax, you know, it's the same thing as before. You know, stay relaxed and try to think about the teeth just resting on the mouthpiece. Okay, there's no pressing or anything. But this should actually fix it because when you do this, 
the whole body goes into a relaxation mode. Okay, <laughs> try that. Now we have Gotch314. Okay, so he or she says, I would like to have more control over the low B flat up to low D and control, uh, volume control. And then I have to use my tongue to build up pressure, then release it to produce a tone. The only reads that work for me is the synthetic fibrosil. Any thoughts? Okay, so firstly, <clears throat> in order to get dynamic control on the very bottom part of the instrument, low B flat to D, first, you want to be sure that you actually can do that on the middle part of the range. Okay, so let's say C. Be sure that you can go to a, 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 a really nice soft dynamic throughout the range without going crazy at the bottom, okay? And then you start working on B flat, B and C, C sharp and D, okay? But actually start from D downwards. Don't start from B flat because B flat is super hard, okay? Make, make the things easier and start easy and then start progressing down to B flat. Then he or she continues, I have to use my tongue to build that pressure then release it to produce a tone. When you say I have to build up pressure, it sounds like when you play, you have this and then you, you create pressure and then shoot. That's how it, that's what it sounds from the, from the text. I mean, it's hard to, you know, it's hard to guess, but essentially you just want to start from a very relaxed state. Okay. Forget about the tongue and just and get really comfortable at doing that. Okay, that's way better. Once you have the airflow in place, then you have got to put the tongue back later, okay? Next, we have David. He says, thanks, Martino. I was curious about ligature placement in relation to the reed as in distance from top to bottom and what difference it makes. So I think you're referring to this. The function of the ligature is to basically grab the reed and prevent it from moving so you can actually play comfortably and the reed can vibrate properly, okay? So a common mistake that people do is this. They leave a little bit of gap over here. Let me show you. They leave this gap, which is, I mean, nothing really happens, but it's better if the ligature grabs the whole thing properly, okay? So um, you should have a line, unless you have a really, really cheap mouthpiece, okay? You should have a line on the mouthpiece. I'm not sure you can see it, but there's a line, okay? So what you want to do is you want to align the ligature to that line, okay? So I would say place the ligature on the line or slightly past the line, okay? I think that's what you're referring to. So next we have Sim. He says, super useful, thanks. Thank you, man, for watching and for commenting and everything. Why is it sharps going up and flats coming down? So remember, the function of sharps is to raise the note up by a semitone. So if we get an A, we raise it up by a semitone, we go to A sharp. Okay. Now the function of a flat is to lower the note by a semitone to go down. So if we have an A and we lower it down by a semitone, we go down to A flat. Okay. So in chromatic scales, for example, if you're notating the chromatic scale going up, you will use the sharps because you're going up and then coming down, even though it's the same notes, because you're coming down, you're actually going to use the flats. Make sense? But the positions are the same. Next, we have Jennifer. She says, I know my tongue is problematic, which has discouraged me from playing for years, but I also have too much spit. A shame to ask, but I want to correct it and start playing again. So, um, Tongan is problematic. Okay. Tongan should be a secondary thing. The first thing that you want to focus on, Jennifer, is um, slurring and airflow and have a nice consistent air speed, you know, which is the most important thing. Then comes Tongan. Okay. Tongan will be really difficult if your airflow is not in place, if you don't have sound control. Okay. Many people do that. Many people just start Tongan straight away, but actually without having a proper sound. Okay. So I would say just start with a lot of slurring. So anything you see on pages and scores and stuff like that, try to just slur everything, you know, so. You know, a 
lot of air, okay? Now, regarding saliva, it's really hard to tell because everyone's different and the production of saliva of each of us is, is different, but I can suggest this, play away from food, which means uh, if you have lunch, don't, don't play straight away after, but, uh, you know, just maybe give it an hour. Brush your teeth before you play. Don't drink, uh, I don't know, whatever drinks, maybe lemonades and stuff like that, you know, a sugary fizzy drinks also, that may just... Uh, uh, increase the production of saliva so don't do those things okay and then and then see how it goes so that's it guys we're done uh, i hope the answers actually made some sense if they didn't let me know here below in the comment and uh, if you still have any questions or any doubts just you know, let me know here below you can email me at martino at londonsaxophoneschool.com for any questions on lessons or, or booking your lesson all the links are here below in the description you can subscribe to the channel if you want if you haven't already there's more stuff coming out every week and uh, we're done for today let me get my saxophone let me get my saxophone and take care guys we're done <laughs>